morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we will make the video on the topic type conversion. This topic was left and recently a child commented that ma'am, which video to watch for type conversion. So, I am here with that video today. In Java, there are various data types like byte, char, boolean, short, float, double, long. So many data types are there. And each data type takes a different number of memory space. Like byte takes 1 byte or 8 bits, char take 2 bytes or 16 bits, long take 8 bytes or 64 bits like this. The table is here, please prepare this table and in the exam the questions can come how many bytes are used by your data type. So the answer will be 4 bytes and go through the question carefully if it is asked. How many bits are used? Then you have to say 32 bits, right? So here I have written in bits also and bytes also. 8 bits makes 1 byte, right? Now coming back to the topic. Now in Java we use different data types. Children, when we assign a value of one data type to a variable of another data type, then sometimes it is converted, sometimes it is not converted. And it gives you an error. So when these two data types are compatible with each other, then there is no error and one data type can be stored in other data type. But when they are not compatible, then we need to convert them, right? But conversion is done in both, whether they are compatible or not compatible, right? So today we will do both the type of conversions and in this first is implicit conversion and the second is explicit conversion. Implicit and explicit. Explicit conversion. Children, I suppose all of you are familiar with these words, right? Implicit conversion is also known as automatic conversion. Automatic conversion or widening conversion also. Children, this is a little new term which you have not done. But I suppose all of you should know. Right? So I am writing this, mentioning it here also. And this is also known as typecasting or narrowing conversion. This is widening conversion, this is narrowing conversion. Now, as the name suggests, automatic conversion. Automatic means automatically it is done without the intervention of the user. User ko batana nahi padta hai ki int ko long me convert karo ya phir long ko float me karo ya double ko float me karo. Children, first we will start with implicit conversion. Implicit conversion ke liye do baate hamesha dhyan rakna. When two data types are compatible, tabhi implicit or automatic conversion takes place. And when we assign a value of a smaller data type to a bigger data type. Smaller data type ki value, agar hum bigger data type mein assign karte hai, tabhi implicit conversion possible hai. And for this, always keep this rule in your mind. Byte short int long. Float double. Isko kaise yaad rakhoge? For integers, we have these four data types. Byte, short, int, long. Right? Or wo usi order mein hai hape. Then float and double. Yani ki agar hum byte ko int mein store karte hai, automatic conversion possible hai. Short ko long mein karte hai, possible hai. Int ko long mein karte hai, possible hai. Long ko float mein karte hai, possible hai. But agar hum double ko float mein karenge, to possible nahi hai. Float ko long me karenge to possible nahi hai. Long ko int me karenge possible nahi hai. Right? Now let us see this example. Int i equals to 100. Int l equals to i. L me humne kya store kar diya? i. And i ki data type kya hai? Int. So long or int. Compatible hai. Yes, long me hum int store kar rahe hai. And float f equals to l. Float me long type value store ki hai. So when you will print i, sida sida kya print ho jayega? 100. Print ln l. l mein kya hai? i ki value. 
and this is also compatible you will get the answer as 100 and when you will give print ln f now here what is there this is also compatible and since it is float type so the value will be stored like this so this will be the output of this program segment right children we will see one more example now here int i equals to 100 float f equals to 50.2 and print i plus f now in this i and f when we are giving this as an expression now here one is int type and one is float type so result the ek type mein aega result do type mein to nahi sakta to kya hoga yahan par according to this rule float higher hai int is at lower end to hamesha jo resultant data type hoga wo according to the higher data type hoga so the answer will be 150.52 right children i hope it is clear to you in exams you get such type of questions mention the type of conversion in the following int a equals to 20 float b equals to 15.5 and double c equals to a plus b now a is int type b is float type but as per this double has the higher priority so automatic this conversion is taking place so what will be the answer the type of conversion is implicit type conversion similarly int x equals to 12 int y equals to 29 long z equals to x plus y int and int we are adding together but we are storing this result in long type and long has the higher priority over int so the answer for this will be also implicit right children now children if we will try to execute this what we have given car ch equals to a int i equals to 65 and ch equals to i ch is car data type and i is int data type when you will try to compile this it will give you error over here what will be the error error will be incompatible data types incompatible data types means here the size of int is 4 bytes and the size of char is 2 bytes and we are trying to put the value of 4 bytes into 2 bytes that is not possible right so it will give you error over here now how to overcome this problem for this instead of this what we have to write we have to do the conversion with user's intervention because this automatic conversion is not taking place यहाँ पर अब हमारा आता है explicit conversion. Explicit conversion जिसको हम type casting भी बोलते हैं, it is used for incompatible data types where automatic conversion cannot be done. जैसे यहाँ पे automatic conversion possible नहीं है, int char में convert नहीं हो पा रहा है, तो उसके लिए हमको क्या करना पड़ेगा? We have to forcefully do that conversion. The target type we have to specify that according to the resultant data type which we want or is ko hum bolte hai narrowing type conversion also is mein double ko hum float mein kar sakte hai double ko long mein kar sakte hai float ko long mein float ko int so from the higher data type to the lower data type also the conversion is possible in case of explicit conversion right so children instead of this what we have to write char ch equals to a this will remain same int i equals to 65 ab yaha pe kyunki wo incompatible tha lekin humko conversion karna hai so how we will do we will write ch equals to char of i now always keep in mind ki character value ko numeric value mein store bina conversion ke nahi kiya ja sakta hai and when you will print the value of i or ch over here so the output will be proper output it will be according to the char data type so children when here it is converted ch equals to char of i i kya hai 65 and 65 sky code ka character value kya hota hai capital a so the output will be capital a over here right children the questions which can come in exams are like this mention the type of conversion in the following int a equals to 50 long b equals to 35 float f equals to float a plus b children if we don't write float over here then also it will be automatically converted into float type according to implicit conversion 
But since float is mentioned here, so you will write the answer as explicit conversion. Right children? Explicit conversion. Then second one, long L equals to 151. INT I equals to INT of L. L kya hai? Long type hai. Isko forcefully INT me convert kar rahi hai. So this will be again explicit. And see the next example. Double D equals to 12.13. Float F equals to float of D. Double ko hum convert kar rahi hai float type me. So here also explicit will be there. Now children just a shortcut. Agar kisi bhi conversion me aap se pucha ja rahe kaun se type ka conversion hai. Or data type mentioned hai like this in brackets. So aap band kar ke wahan pe explicit lik do. Right because yaha pe hum forcefully conversion kar rahe hai. That is why it is explicit conversion or type casting. So children I suppose implicit and explicit conversion is clear to you. Implicit conversion is done automatically by the compiler and explicit conversion needs user intervention. Forcefully, we tell you that this result ko is data type mein chahiye, to hamesha aapka data type mentioned hoga. So, I hope this will help you in your preparation for the exams. For today, this much only. And if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. So that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing. Keep working hard. God bless you children.